Pete here with the smallbusinessresourcecenter.com with some very important information. It looks like today there's a tentative interim bill to extend the CARES Act and the economic impact payments or the coronavirus stimulus is what uh, layman's are taught calling it. Today, it looks like if everything goes according to plan, Sunday, the Senate could approve the bill. Then what would happen is it would go to the House, and on Tuesday, the House would approve the bill. If the House approves the bill, Wednesday, as early as Wednesday, funds could start being available, applications could start going in, and you can start getting funding again. So I want to keep in mind, with that being the case, what you want to do is have all your applications ready. If you didn't do your taxes, some banks are requiring taxes, but try to make sure everything's ready. Um, so I'm going to have links in the description for everything if you want the latest uh, news and information on how to apply. But what we're looking at tentatively is the Paycheck Protection Program and the EDIL, Economic Injuries Disaster Loan Advance, spent $349 million in 13 days. I'm not going to go into the politics and what I personally feel about it, but uh, basically a lot of this did not go to self-employed people, business owners, small business owners, independent contractors. So they've approved an additional $300 billion for the Paycheck Protection Program. So that's going to help small business owners, independent contractors, so they can help with payroll, help pay their mortgage, and help <clears throat> with other life and business sustaining costs. For these programs, if you already checked with your bank and you're in a larger bank, what you want to do is check with a smaller bank. Um, there's one link that I'll have below that you can apply online. Um, Citibank is a large bank that's doing it. Also, Customers Bank, if you're in Pennsylvania, is accepting applications. <clears throat> I'll put a link to Customers, too, because I know they're accepting in Pennsylvania. So I'll, and I'll have a video on how you can apply too. For the $50 billion, actually, they'll be putting towards the EDIL, the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program. That's the up to $10,000 advance that you can get. So until that's approved 100%, we don't know how those funds are gonna be used. I believe some of it will have to go to the applications that are already in place. And then I would expect that you're gonna be able to start applying after everything's approved and they're set up. Uh, if you want the fastest updates, subscribe to my channel. You can also look, well, if you're looking at this, whatever page you're looking on, I'll post the video there. So hopefully they'll continue to allow me to do that. Um, the other thing I wanna make mention is they're putting 25 billion towards testing. And they're also putting more money towards hospitals. And they've also approved more money to states that need uh, funding or have problems because of the coronavirus. The Treasury also noted today that they are have not sent out any checks yet, and they're asking people to use the portal. So if you're a non-filer and you did not get a, a stimulus check, um, or if your bank information was messed up, I'm going to put the links for both those videos below. You want to look at that information so you can um, get informed on that. You definitely want to file online. They are going to send checks, just nothing. They haven't sent any of them out. Pete Custis here. I am going to keep you updated and like, subscribe to my channel. If this helped you out, smash a like button for me. If you want to help a friend, share the video with them.